I'm Nancy. And where do you live? I live in Gardner, Kansas. Okay. And how has heart disease touched you personally? My mother has suffered from heart disease. She has been diagnosed for a lot of years now. She was 48. And so now how old she's, were you? I was um, early 30s. And what was that like for you when you found out your mom had heart disease? It was very scary. Um, she had to have an open heart surgery and, you know, we weren't even sure if she would live. And uh, she had suffered from many, many strokes. That's how they found out she had uh, heart problems. And then she had to have a valve replaced and a pacemaker. And basically it changed her life forever. She had to be on a blood thinner and she just didn't have energy and she had to, she was supposed to change her diet and supposed to exercise and quit smoking. And my mother did not do that. <laughs> and it really made it life very difficult and it put a lot of worries on the family. So you said it changed your mom a lot. How did it change you? Well, it changed me because I became aware of how important it was to have heart health and I tried to eat better and exercise more and from her going to KU Medical to the Heart Institute there, um, they have implemented yoga as a part of their health care and my daughter has actually been trying to get me to do yoga for a lot of years so that has helped me jump start that part of my life and to do that so are you just more aware like in general up until this point did you know heart disease was the number one killer of women no i didn't i was thinking it was cancer or that's what it seems like a lot of people think that and what do you um because heart disease does kill more women than cancer, like have you changed the way you talk to your friends? Do you try and get the word out to people? And yes, them? because I think a lot of the problem stems from stress. When we have a lot of stress in our life, and you know, everybody does, we make bad decisions. We eat more than we should, or we eat less than we should, or we drink more than we should, and I mean, we do all kinds, make all kinds of bad decisions from being stressed and that's why I think that KU's on top of it by saying yoga is part of their program to relieve stress because when you have too much stress you make bad choices and it affects your heart. When you're thinking about your choices because that was your mom, mm -hmm. do you now think about your daughter and how she feels about Yes, you? I do. How has that changed? Well, I don't want to put her through what my mom has put me through. I want to, you know, she didn't quit smoking and she didn't change her diet and she couldn't handle the stress. And so I'm making the changes in my life so my children hopefully won't have to go through that because the doctors have told me, you know, this could happen to you. It's in your family. How does that make you feel? It's scary. It's very scary. Yeah. So how do you think that you would be able to share your your truth, your experience with other people and get the message out about Go Red for Women? Well, I would hope that if you just touch one life, save one person, or you can, you know, they can maybe pass it on to the next person. The goal is just to try to touch one person and maybe they can pass it forward. Good. I'm Nancy and I go red for all women. I want to uncover the truth about heart disease because it's the most important thing that women can do for themselves. Yeah. I am here because I would like to change people's lives and how they view heart disease. Changing the way people think about stress is why.